and Vinny. Three, Vinny, guitar, six. Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Pete and Vinny 3 Mini Guitar Tips. Today I'm going to show you 3 tips to improve the sound of your chug. So tip number one, let the gain do the work. So in order to achieve the chugging sound, we need a considerable amount of gain. And when we're playing with that much gain, it's a good idea to control the way you attack the strings. If you use loads of gain and also attack the strings really heavily, things will get messy. So for instance, if I grab a classic sounding pole muted thrash metal riff and play it really heavily, it will sound like this. Now, if I ease my strength and keep a lighter touch, it would sound like this. So as you can see, with that much gain, you really don't need to dig in that much. It's quite the opposite. You can keep a lighter touch and let the gain do the work for you. So the trick here is to look for any tension in your right arm and consciously try to get rid of it by relaxing any tense areas. So your grip of the pick and the way you attack the strings should be firm enough but free of tension. Tip number two, experiment with different areas around the bridge. So there's more than one sound you can get by pole muting. Your chug sound can range from a super tight pole muted sound to a full on loose chug. So you can travel your right hand across the strings while pole muting and listen to how different this region sounds. So as you can tell, for faster, tighter stuff, you can position your hand a bit more forward. And for a more loose sound, you can go right down to where the string meets the bridge. So in practice, these positions are quite close, but they have a huge effect on the sound. So the better you can control this, the better you'll be able to express your evil riffs. Tip number three, accents within the riff. So when we're playing a difficult, fast, pole muted line, it's very easy to focus on the execution of it, but forget about dynamics. It's always a good idea to pay attention to how you accent what you're playing. So for instance, I'm gonna play some straight 16th notes with no dynamic at all. Now if I accent every first beat, it'll sound like this. As you can see, that's a very different sound, so you can play around with accents in your riffs in different places. So you'd be surprised with how much difference it can make. So check this out, if I put a more advanced rhythm on my accents, the same 16th notes could sound like this. So I'm playing the exact same notes, but I've completely changed the sound of the riff just by accenting differently. A golden tip here for those of you guys that play in a band is to always listen to the drummer, listen to what they're doing and lock in with them and accent with them. So there you go guys, thank you for watching this episode of Pete and Vinny 3 Mini Guitar Tips. If you enjoyed the video or if it helped you in any way, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Now, if you managed to use this tip in your playing, please let me know how it went in the comment section. See ya! Three, three, guitar, six.